Hello, friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. And I am ben.o.cichlid on Instagram and Ben O apostrophe cichlid on Facebook. Even though the channel's gone way beyond cichlids, today we're going to talk about a vieja zonatus, and uh, this is a uh, this is a cichlid that. Uh, is from southern Mexico into Central America and can get up to 12 inches. The males can get very, very aggressive and they usually develop a hump on the forehead, a nuchal. I don't see one on this fish, but this fish has been very, very aggressive recently. And he patrols the tank. It's a 90 gallon uh, tank, somewhat of a cube. And he really does need a lot more room the problem started when a nuchal hump appeared on the head of this Nicaragua cichlid. And he started to pair up, I believe, with the other cichlid in the tank, moving large amounts of uh, substrate around uh, you know, and defending these large pits that he was making. They would even attack each other, the two Nicaraguas. But the smaller one with the bright, bright colors there, I believe, is a female. And when that type of defensive behavior started, the um, Zonatus just sort of lost his mind and uh, considered it sort of a, a, a threat or a challenge and proceeded to um, just go after not just the Nicaraguas, but other fish in the tank. Surprisingly, he uh, did leave the Jack Dempsey alone. You can see by the fins on the Jack Dempsey that he's in pretty good shape and uh, has actually weathered this sort of uh, eruption of aggression pretty smoothly. The, um, the Surimanensis, the Geophagus Surimanensis, continue to kind of go after each other mostly, but they also do get a bit harassed if they get near the pit that was dug there in the corner uh, by the Nicaraguas. But as you can see, the Zonatus will have, you know, he, he'll, he's not having any of it. He is asserting his control of the entire tank. The red shoulder Severum has taken some shots. You can see him in the tail. But the AC Hecali, for some reason, just seems to be invisible to, to everybody. And you can see there is in real good shape. Regardless, I am considering moving the AC Hecali and also the, um, the red shoulder Severum and possibly even the Geophagus over to the 55, the smaller aquarium, where I think they'll be, uh, they'll be at a little bit more peace and not in the middle of all the chaos that's going on currently here in this 90 gallon. Unfortunately, that Severum has taken a few shots. This tank is very peaceful right now and I'd almost hate to disrupt it. I've got the two gold spotted Severums. I've got a couple uh, a couple redhead tapahos and they're a beautiful chocolate cichlid and they're all getting along fine there's also a, a, a young green tear and some dwarf rainbows in there and the tank is actually very very probably my most peaceful tank right now and um, I would hate to kind of mess with it but I think I may have to transfer some of the fish out of here because this guy is just too much of a beast right he's thick he's long and um, he's just a, a, a bit of a bully. I suspect it's a male. I had to take out the, the other, uh, the more peaceful uh, viejas because they were just sort of getting in the middle of all of it and taking shots. And uh, so I put them uh, with a divider, you can see here, in this tank. And they're recovering. They, had, they both had marks on their sides where they had taken shots. From both, from both each other and also from the Zonatus. So it was just a, a bit of a battle royale in that aquarium. This one here has dug a pit, a pit under, the, uh, under the filter there. Very cute fish, really like them a lot. This tank was never intended to be a South American tank. The substrate in this tank is, uh, it's, it's actually aragonite and uh, in an effort to make the water you know harder keep the pH up you can see the divider there that I've adapted this 55 it was intended for a 29 gallon actually 
but I've got some wood and I've got some um, I've got some almond leaves in here in an effort to to you know maybe bring down the pH just a little bit and uh, make it a little bit more comfortable for them since they're not used to being in this kind of an aquarium. What I might end up doing is bringing the um, the Zonatus over to this 55 and let them live here in this 55 until I can get the 300 set up. Then move the other, these two viejas, move them back into the 90 and uh, let the Zonatus have the run of this full aquarium. And hopefully the this kind of substrate isn't going to make it too uncomfortable for him. But if they do have, the Zonatus do have a reputation of being a bit on the aggressive side and if he continues to be overly aggressive I may have to either sell or give him away. You can see the big piece of, uh, of wood I put in there. So um, what do you think? What do you think I should do with this guy? Just let him continue to uh, run over everybody. You know you, you got that, uh, that idea that he's very very pretty and because he's pretty with beautiful markings on the face side of the body you don't really want to get rid of them necessarily maybe I can let them live in the 55 and then bring them over to the 300 when that finally gets uh, set up that is that is actually scheduled to start the delivery process in March so I'll have that 300 gallon aquarium and I think in there he'll get along better with everybody else uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me your advice and tips below, especially if you're very familiar with these types of uh, cichlids. And I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream at 11 a.m. Central. That's 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. And if you would like to uh, support the channel, apart from uh, subscribing and hitting that bell and giving it a thumbs up, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang. That is the uh, Patreon uh, membership. It's a monthly membership and uh, goes from $3 on up. You get uh, behind-the-scenes videos and videos that are only for Patreon members. So uh, check that out. There is information on that in the description under the video. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in, my friends. You are appreciated. And uh, I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.